How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some of the scariest videos going around the internet. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. All right, my daughter's room. TikTok user Alyssa094 sent shivers down the spines of her followers when she uploaded a video on September 2nd, 2023. In the eerie footage, Alyssa recounts strange occurrences in her daughter's bedroom located on the top floor of their home. According to her, an unsettling presence becomes visible when a flashlight is cast from the lower level. Take a look. All right, flash it up there. Oh, now it's gone. Put your flashlight down. Let's see if it'll do it again. All right, put it up, hurry. Oh. Look at that, dude. Watching that again slowed down, you can actually see the blinds move, despite no one being in the room. <coughs> While some viewers speculate that this might just be an elaborate setup, the eerie event has left some commenters wondering whether this house really could be haunted. Love to hear your thoughts on this strange sighting in the comments down below. All right, flash it up there. Oh, now it's gone. Put your flashlight down. Let's see if it'll do it again. All right, put it up, hurry. Oh, look at that, dude. On January 14th, 2024, the Instagram account Alien Bioma thrust itself into the spotlight with a video that's become the talk of the town in online horror communities and beyond. Capturing a peculiar moment in broad daylight over San Diego, the footage reveals a spherical UFO. Most striking is the strange object's shape, a departure from the conventional dislike forms that have become synonymous with UFO sightings. Zooming in on the object, viewers are met with an assembly of scrap parts and metals, raising eyebrows and prompting questions about its origin. The eerie resemblance to a man-made creation adds an additional layer of intrigue to an already mysterious sighting. So is this an avant-garde creation, perhaps an elaborate hoax, or an authentic glimpse of extraterrestrial activity? In a recent TikTok upload by user 4 Mural Here, the picturesque scenery of Port Dixon, Malaysia, takes a chilling turn as a mysterious creature surfaces from the tranquil waters during sunset. The footage captures an unusual creature seemingly diving in and out of the water with erratic movements. Commenters on the platform have drawn connections to the Sulu Badar, a mythical being deeply rooted in the folklore of the Malay archipelago in Indonesia and Malaysia. The creature is said to haunt those who reside near rivers or depend on fishing for their livelihood. Researchers remain skeptical about the existence of the Sulu Badar, sometimes referred to as Badar tendrils, emphasizing the uncertainty surrounding their original form. Despite exhibiting aquatic movements akin to other river-dwelling creatures, the Badar tendril's elusive nature leaves experts perplexed. The tendrils reportedly attack humans when they sense a threat, often causing large waves or disturbances in the water. Legend shrouds the Badar tendril's origins. There's very little information on this mythical creature written in English and translating the descriptions does become difficult. Some tales suggest it emerged from discarded fabric in the river, transforming into a mysterious creature with four heads on each corner of the cloth. Badar tendrils are said to stalk swimmers, individuals in small boats, or those walking near bodies of water potentially feeding on unsuspecting victims. Witnesses who encountered the creature in the TikTok video describe it resembling an old mat or piece of carpet drifting on the lake. 
very similar to stories of the Badar tendrils. As the online community debates the creature's identity, questions linger. Does the entity in the eerie video truly mirror the Sulu Badar? Or could it be something else entirely? Theories abound and the mystery deepens, leaving viewers intrigued and unsettled. What are your thoughts on this bizarre creature? Have you heard of it before? And does this video actually show that it might actually exist? Share your theories and speculations on this one in the comments down below. In recent weeks, a peculiar home security video has taken the internet by storm. Uploaded by user Antonio the Leo, the footage captured by their doorbell camera has left viewers both baffled and intrigued. Take a look. As the footage unfolds, viewers are confronted with a series of strange lights hovering in the air. But that's not the only eerie element. Overlaying the visual spectacle is a snippet of a familiar tune, the Sesame Street theme song, specifically the line, can you tell me how to get, repeated endlessly. Unsurprisingly, this bizarre piece of CCTV footage has gone viral, drawing the attention of thousands of curious onlookers. Among those captivated by the video, a multitude of theories have emerged. According to the video's poster, the dancing lights could be a form of communication from a poltergeist, an unsettling prospect that sends shivers down the spines of many viewers. Others have entertained the notion that the source of the mysterious lights might be extraterrestrial beings or even time travellers attempting to convey a message through a strangely familiar song. Interestingly, some netizens have drawn parallels between the uncanny phenomenon and the Voyager Golden Record, a project initiated by NASA. Curated by a committee led by the renowned Carl Sagan at Cornell University, the Voyager Golden Record is a compilation designed to represent Earth to potential extraterrestrial life. It features a diverse array of sounds, music, greetings and messages from our planet. However, it's crucial to clarify that the Sesame Street theme song is not among the sounds etched onto the official Voyager Golden Record, as some commenters have mistakenly believed. As the internet continues to speculate and dissect every frame of this bizarre video, the truth behind this phenomenon remains elusive. Whether it's the work of a mischievous poltergeist, an extraterrestrial message, or simply an elaborate hoax, the enigma of the doorbell camera footage continues to fascinate and confound. As with many mysteries, the answer may continue to elude us, leaving room for the imagination to run wild. Here's a quick, eerie little one uploaded to TikTok by user Briscoe Park. This user was out filming their late night stroll one night. Everything seemed perfectly fine. However, when they reviewed their footage when they got home, they were creeped out by what they saw. If we watch the beginning of the clip again, you can make out a pair of glowing red eyes. The user mentioned that they did have a sense of being followed while out on their walk, but they brushed off the feeling, thinking it was nothing.
So what do you think these eyes belong to? Is it just a normal woodland creature? Or is it something a little more sinister? Let me know in the comments down below. I just feel really weird. This next one was uploaded to TikTok by user Jeremy Judkins2. It's some spooky footage the user captured while returning home one night. Take a look. My Tesla sees a person. Uh-uh, I'm locking the door. That's creepy. The video captures the chilling moment Jeremy's Tesla detects an entity standing nearby the car. Uh-uh. That has me freaked out. Is there someone there? There are numerous examples on the internet of Teslas detecting people with their senses when nobody is around. So are these cars just glitchy, or are they capable of detecting things beyond the realm of human perception? That's creepy. Love to hear your take on this theory in the comments down below. Uh -oh. That has me freaked out. Before we get to that number one spot, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. A peculiar video has surfaced, shared by a Reddit user known as Dooza85 over on our Slaptam subreddit. The footage, sent by a friend's mother, captures an unsettling encounter at her front door during a quiet night of watching TV. The homeowner, residing in Belding, Michigan, recounts seeing a dark face with unnaturally bright glowing eyes. Fellow Redditors were at a loss to explain the strange sighting. Some thought it might be a wayward bear peering in through the window. Others went into the realms of the supernatural, suggesting it's some kind of demonic entity looking to gain access to their home. As always though, I'll throw this one over to you, the viewers, for final judgment. Have you ever heard of the bizarre disappearance of Melissa Caddick? We took a deep dive into this truly baffling case over on our brand new second channel, Slapped Ham Mysteries. Here's a little snippet. In the early hours of November 12th, 2020, the quiet, affluent suburb of Dover Heights in Sydney, Australia, witnessed the beginning of a mystery that would soon grip the nation. Melissa Caddick, a 49-year-old esteemed financial advisor, vanished without a trace. The aura of enigma surrounding Caddick's disappearance wasn't just a simple case of a missing person. It soon unraveled a tale of alleged deceit, financial mismanagement, and a desperate search for truth. Melissa Caddick was not an ordinary Sydney cider. With a thriving career as a financial advisor, she lived a life many could only dream of. However, beneath the glitz and glamour lay a tumult of alleged fraudulent financial activities. So did she really saw her own leg off to evade capture by the authorities? To find out the full story, head on over to our brand new channel, Slapped Ham Mysteries. We'll put a link to that episode in the description box down below. We'll also pin it in the comments and we'll see you over there. Well, hey, well, that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. In case you haven't heard the news, we've launched a brand new second channel. You can see the latest episode right there. Otherwise, there's a spooky playlist there that'll creep you out well into the night, we promise. Leave us a comment down below, smash that thumbs up button, and that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Huh?